everyone, this is Amway from High Cards, and I hope you're having a good day. Welcome to part two of the season three premiere of High Cards playing AQW. We are, just as I said in the previous episode, continuing this right after the previous one ended. Gonna battle Shadow Knight Gar. Uh, we are done Shadow Stream, or oh, Time Stream. But. Just as Shadow Lord Keep had one quest to go, not sure what's going on with that one. Could it be this quest I'm doing now? Time Stream and Shadow Lord Keep seems to be intertwined. But we'll do this, and yeah, we're making pretty decent progress. I won't do Granite Cove nor Black Sea Keep in this episode due to the fact I want to branch out this season. So what I'm thinking is, let's take a gander. Episode 2 will be Pirate Queen, Tasia and Jinx the Thief. Episode 3 will be Attack on Arkengrove and Spirit Liaison Mahal. Episode 4 will be Attack on Myth Song and Dark Alliances. Episode 5 will be Inner Shadows. But we'll probably change it up every now and then, depending on how quick some episodes go. But that's a general gist of it. Episode 2 will probably, and Episode 3 will probably be the most difficult ones. Episode 2 specifically, because I'm planning on trying to get a lot of content done in that episode. But you may be wondering, why did I split this one battle into the two-parter? Just because my recording software caps me at two hours. So, I just wanted to quickly do this. But Shadow Knight Gar is not too difficult, we're nearly done actually, I'm just shy of halfway. We might do an a, a quest or two for Pirate Cove, just or Granite Cove. Just saying, it might make it easier if I split if I do another part now to make it a bit easier. Might do Granite Cove now. So I am determined to get the entirety of Shadow War done this uh, season. With Shadow War 2, I completely forgot. That one will probably have to be relegated to Season 5. Then I'll do Shadows of Chaos. Season 6 will probably be Dracon's Elegy. Because I completely forgot Shadow of War 2. Big is Granite Cove. Granite Cove is only 11 quests. That's not too bad. And it will really come in handy to help out in the next part. But a part of me is also thinking it would also just be really helpful if I did Granite Cove and Black Sea Keep. We'll just see how quick uh, Granite Cove is on the side there. Sixty-nine thousand health. Shadow Knight Gar remains, making very nice progress on him. Time to 
have my coat. Forty-odd thousand to go. Still curious about who this uh, Malgor character is. I don't know what that um, two battle prompt uh, Varga has, but I'm worried to click it because it might take me out of this battle where I'm so close to finishing. And I made that mistake earlier in another video, I cannot remember where I clicked a battle and I restarted the battle. But I hadn't done too much progress, I don't think. Well, it felt like in the last 20 or 30,000, he, Shadow Knight Gar has barely done anything. Done. <laughs> Being honest. Wait, what? Hmm. Well, nah, that doesn't really need to be important right now.
Hmm. I can do it. This area a lot. Oh, you can cut trees down. Snake. Wonder if that's for a quest. It just helps make it easier to see. Hmm. Jungle tree and so the same model, I believe, is the rubber treant from the Valsarian area. Few to go, and that's not too bad. All right, one to go. Okay, so the trees re grow instantly. <laughs> oh, wait. There's a book up there. Another book, and I just need the letter to Ricky. All right, so <clears throat> how do I get in there? Wait. Thought I could cut that tree down. 
because I had the little line at the bottom. Hmm. Is there another path that I'm missing out on? Ah, oh, yes, there is. There we are. That is Ricky. Now is this a drop or a click? <clears throat> Seems to be a drop based uh, quest. Just only two pages to go, so this actually went a lot more quicker than I intended it to. Good stuff. Don't even know if the treants had it. It's just that they failed the one time, so they might have had it, which could have made it easier. Giving them coffee. Oh, monkey beans. Pleasant. I'd say we'll probably have to battle that uh, cool pirate, shadow flame pirate thingy. Oh, we still got a lot of quests here to go here though. Halfway through on the collect the beans. Three to go, good start. My pet does battle battles as well. Wait, is she a battle pet? She, she is a, a boss drop rarity. Oh, I've never seen that one. This is about a miniature version of the chaos who can bat. Oh my goodness, she actually does help. I don't know how much damage she does, but that's awesome. That's why she's one of my. I knew she was one of my favorites for a reason.
Also, still the best Chaos Beast in my opinion. That and Rock Rock. What if I can get a Rock Rock pet? I said that in another episode I've won it. Smooth the way. At least it's only five. But that means it's probably not a guaranteed drop. Yeah. Well, we've got three so far, so I'm content with that. Just want to go. Nice. Uh, let's see. There's no... Oh, is this where I finally chopped down the tree? No? Okay, sugar packet. Where do I get sugar packets from? But there's no... There's the crew keeps packets. Ah, uh, so I've got to battle the pirates again. Oh, I'm not a big fan of battling the Black Sea Pirates, they are. They take a while. And I don't like that it's 10. And it's already not getting drops. Three out of ten, that's not too bad. <laughs> Four, good stuff. Halfway through, which is actually really impressive. I knew it was going to take a while, but I think it would be this short? So, I'm content. Free to go, utilize that, start off. <coughs> So now we're feeding some statues. Okay. Cutscene? Yes.
Oh, they look cool. Four to set six out of start. I wonder if we'll see Marvel soon. I'd like it if he was like Lord Black Seal, where he appeared several times throughout the story. I did appreciate the fact that we did get to battle him in the first part of this series coming out. That was a nice little touch there. Kill Bill. Alright. That's obviously a reference to the Kill Bill movie. Black Booth. Black Tooth Bill defeated. Sounds like a boss. That should be ending off this area, maybe? Oh no, we got one more after this. Oh, easy. Wait, so why did we free them and then automatically defeat them? I like this guy as well, he's cool. And it's not super difficult as well, that is a nice touch. Cutscene? Yes. Alright, let's battle uh, the Pirate Queen Tasia. Had a feeling this was going to happen. And this should end off Granite Cove to go to Bl Black Sea Deep. Man, she doesn't have near as much health, so that's nice. Near as much as I mean, like, you know, not 200,000. 100,000 is pretty easy to deal with. Yeah. Oh, I have my cordial already. Dang. Also, I really like a sword. Simple design, but colouring is nice. I don't think the disguise will work here. One third of the way through Taja, or Tisha, whatever her name is. We are making pretty cracking effort. Not gonna lie, after this, I should probably go back to Dragon Hang to buy more potions. Well, oh, if I can just survive like another 10 seconds. Oh no! No! Oh no! I was... I just clicked on it. Uh, might as well go to Dragon Home now. Oh, dang it. Oh, what are you? 
session live in. Let's do it again. halfway through see that's what sucks the most like if i don't i'd only just started the fight but we were roughly at 50,000 health it's like that is a fair bit of effort that's now just wasted Still a bit of talk, so I might do Black Sea Keep now. Junk or Junk Keep Shadow Grove will be episode two. Those three will be episode three. Episode four, and then episode five will either be. Finishing off what I couldn't get done in previous episodes Or I start and I do the entirety of Shadow War 2 If I can get what I just said so those three episode 2 Those three for episode 3 And those three for episode 4 then I can do Shadow War 2 in that episode. With Season 5 focusing purely on all that. That is a bit of a task right there because I can't fail. What's the amount of quests? So 11, 15, 9, 9, 11, 13, 7, 12, 26. Whoa. That's nearly a Chaos Lord one there. 10 and, well, we're just finishing off the 11. Nearly died there. Pirate Queen Tasia is actually a tad bit difficult. But if I do get this done, then I should be able to get the Shadow War all done and dub this not just the War Season, but the Shadow War Season. Okay, we're at 50,000. I cannot lose again. I know I would have liked to have explored that cave. Maybe that's the next part. And if it is, then I'm happy. If it isn't, then I'd be a bit disappointed that they seem to have been building up this area. Shadow Flame Pirate next to her though, I presume will be the next boss, and if it does continue this pirate storyline will be in that cave, that's my theory. 
Oh, I need a heal. There. There we are. And I should be able to get through now. Fit 11,000 to go, nearly 10. 10,000. We are absolutely doing amazing right now. Ooh. Oh, nearly got more health. More health. One hit, done. Cutscene. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Where are we off to now? Done that. Done that, done that. I did defeat Tejo, didn't I? Let's just continue. First mate, Bloodbone. What's the twelfth quest? Wait, is there like a special quest if I go to where Tasia would appear? No. It's the last one. 
I'm just going to continue. Maybe it might finish off. Black Sea Key might finish off Granite Cove. Okay. Okay, so scallywags are meant to uh, drop the keys. Got one. So it's a percentage based one, is it? Okay. Why does it say I've completed it? Do I have to battle Tasia again? Because I don't want to battle Tasia again. Losing it the first time made me lose motivation to even want to ba battle her the second time. And this booty key... Ah, oh, these drop rates are just terrible. Jinx. So it seems as though these two, Tasia and Jinx, I presume, are like allies we need to take on Marvel. I think Varga or Varja said we needed allies. Done. Finally. <laughs> Intriguing quest. I'm gonna say either the mage or the uh, uh, privateer drop the key for the door to progress the actual area. It's like my theory. Okay, privateer interrogated, so obviously just battle them.
Only three to go. That's pretty good, in my opinion, at the very least. We're making nice, quick progress. But it's not a guaranteed interrogation. Just two to go. Last one, come on. Done. A uh, cutscene, I'm gonna assume. Oh no, we just have to reset it. Get the picks, alright, so. So we'll have to bring. Scallywags. So one meaning it's going to be a low drop rate. Okay, we got it on the first go. Thank you, fine. Oh, it's one of these ones again. Okay. Oh, yellow, green, So it's somewhere in that vicinity. Done. So she actually doesn't have the I uh, kick the. So she doesn't have the uh, crystal in her eye patch anymore. So now we just gotta presume battle a whole bunch of the pirates again. We did it. God, that was annoying me. And I'm so wait, I can bring it up. So that is twelve. We are five out of eleven. So it's still a while to go. Go. 
wouldn't mind a quest in which we just gotta click and drop something on the ground, or maybe you lay some traps. That's usually an easy one. Uh, only one more, let's go. Oh, we'll have to battle some of the pirate rangers now, I presume? Spell regions and compliant mage. So I don't know how to get a compliant mage. Maybe one it's a low drop rate. Oh, got it. Six to go. And mages, I've noticed, uh, in this game, are pretty easy to defeat. Three to go. One, nice, good, good, very good. Yeah, good stuff, all right. And I feel like we're in that cave now. I didn't point that out, I'm not sure if we are. Now is this a drop item? Yes, cool. What are we doing? It doesn't look like we're doing anything. Oh, we're revealing, uh, making the shadows go away, are we? Pitch and privateers. Mm -hmm. And we need eight, so it's going to be a bit of a long one. But had good luck so far, so hopefully it carries on. Halfway through. But not really making the best progress. So we still got a lot to go. Three quests. And I'd say this is one, yes, yeah, so two. Battle the captain, which will probably be the last one. And one beforehand, which could be go find the captain or something. Oh, got carried away there.
There we go. Oh, we're setting this camp on fire, are we? Oh, that's cool. I don't know why there were only seven earlier, but now eight. Do we put fires in the ca captain's room? No? Okay. Oh, two here. I think there was three here earlier. And now the Battle of the Captain? Alrighty, we are battling the captain. How do I get to the roof? Ah, here. First mate. First mate blood bone. And this should finish off I think it said there was another one afterwards, so... No, okay, this is it. Battling Bloodbone will finish off this quest line, and subsequently this episode. But... Not really. So, it will finish off the story for this episode, yes, but I'm gonna battle Rock Rock. I really want to. I really want to get a Rock Rock pet. Having my two favourite Chaos Beasts as pets would be uh, very lovely, being the one I've got now, the Chaos Garage Bass Pet. Probably butchered that horribly. But I want Rock Rock. I'm hoping this doesn't take too long. I'm actually starting to get tired. And I also really want to start playing more of that Fire Emblem Engage. It, as of time of recording this, came out like one or two days ago and I'm loving it so far. I'm a massive Fire Emblem fan. If you want me to make Fire Emblem content for this channel, I'm more than happy to. No, massive fan. Alright, we are nearly at halfway for Bloodbone. Wouldn't mind his weapon drop. Like having a, a sword and gun. That'd be a pretty cool drop if I can acquire it for myself. navigating through the shop earlier, the microtransaction shop to be specific, I noticed there was a quest pack. I uh, get me new quest line boss, a lot of random stuff and seems to get me some ACs. I think, I'm not sure, might be making that up and a few months membership. So I'm thinking about getting that and that will act as its own episode later on down the line. Don't know if it's like their version of what an expansion would be. But I'm thinking about getting it. Looks interesting.
And Bloodbone is at just 30,000 health remaining. We are doing pretty good, though he has actually been somewhat difficult. I'll give him that. Twenty-three thousand. Come on. Really want to finish off this uh, pirate detour. It started off fun, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the biggest fan of the pirate detour. Oh, nearly done. What do I do? No, I need a heal. Yes. Done. Monstrous Pirate Morph. Ooh. Yeah, we got Tasha to join. So we've completed a bit of a Shadows of War, which I'm pretty happy with. But now, let's kick back and relax and battle. Rock, rock. So many stories we've completed. <laughs> There's still a lot of stuff I've got to do here. Some quests. So, that will be done in another episode, but rock rock. We'll keep on going, maybe battle them a few more times, because I'm determined to try and get a pet. Oh, you tricked me there. You tricked me. Because I'm sure you can get him as a pet. If you can get the other Chaos Beasts as pet, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to get Rock Rock. And honest, I'll just keep on going until the next drop appears. If it's the feather again, that's fine. I'll call it a day. Okay, we'll call it a day. This has been the Season 3 premiere to High Cards playing AQW. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, I'm just going to do this for a few more minutes, so there will be no more content. I hope you've enjoyed. The rest of Season 3, we will be continuing the Shadow War story, so I'm looking forward to that. Sorry, still want to battle him. We will be doing Junk Horde, Junk Heap, Shadow Grove, Episode 2, Azora Hills, Ghost Nexus, and Shadow Song, Episode 3, Dark Ally, Dark Alliance, Inner Shadows, Episode 4, and... War, uh, Shadow War 2 in episode 5. Alrighty, have a good day everyone, and this has been Amway.